Oh, <laughs> San Francisco say it's the what? City of brotherly love. It, it, honestly though, they kicked me out. So how can that be a brotherly love city? I mean seriously, you kick a brother out of your own city? Because he speaks the truth and he watches the trash pile up on the sidewalk. You know, I don't really like San Francisco anyway. It's pretty trashy. You know, I went downtown and there was one thing I saw everywhere. Trash. And you know what's funny? I picked up a lot of trash. I helped take out the garbage with some people. And you know what was even funnier than that? Those people that were taking out the trash were the most enlightened human beings I've ever met. While everyone else who's in their business suits and garbage attire is absolutely hideous and is the root of all evil because they won't even look around them to help the world out. Even the sminkling, inkling, schmeagle of a man couldn't even say hello. And the brotherly love not even one man. So if you in San Francisco are watching, please invite me into your home where I will pour tea for hours and I will tell you jokes about how San Francisco kicked me out because they couldn't handle me. The, everyone was like, Isaac, go to San Francisco, you'll love it. <laughs> oh really? Well I went, I destroyed the thing like a coconut because that's what I do, I destroy everything. And then literally, they're like, Isaac, you have to leave here. And I'm like, okay, bye. So then I leave, of course, because I don't, you know, no one has to carry me out. I just leave and go wherever I want because this earth is infinite and vast and beautiful. And I just keep digging gold and crystals and whatever I find. And I'm going to seek out the red barrel next. Now, if you know what Big Spite is or red barrel, it's one of the rarest things on the planet. Now, they say it only comes from one place in the world. Now, I have to find this world to be pretty vast. And you know, there's a lot of mountain ranges in Utah, and a lot of them are claimed up, and I would never break the rules, so I would never jump on another man's claim. That's called claim jumping, duh. So, what does a man of my stature do? He seeks out the red barrel, and he always finds what he seeks. And I will find red barrel. The question is where and how much, because I know I will find red barrel. Duh.